The death sentence still on the table in the case against Casey Anthony. And today the judge said a jury should still have that option to choose against her. West Street reporter Bob Keeling joins us live right now. And Bob, though the judge denied the defense request to drop the death penalty, he did say they made a compelling argument. Yeah, that's right. He did, Martha. And an Orlando defense attorney says Judge Stan Strickland may be sending a signal that he may not think that this is a very strong death penalty case. Ever since prosecutors finally outlined how Kaylee Anthony may have died and Casey Anthony hid her face, it's been one defeat after another for her defense team. The latest, Judge Stan Strickland found that there is no legal basis to prevent prosecutors from going after the ultimate punishment. He denied the defense request to take the death penalty off the table. That's all he's saying in this order. He's saying the state attorney is legally entitled to seek it. There is no bad motive that's been legally proven. But there could be a ray of hope for the defense. In his ruling, Strickland said that he found much of the defense counsel's argument regarding death penalty law and procedures to be, quote, compelling. So what could that mean? I'm thinking that Judge Strickland is probably the opinion that this particular case isn't exactly death penalty material. That will be important if Casey is convicted. Then it's up to Strickland to decide if the state has proven there are enough aggravating factors in Kaylee's murder to sentence her mother to death. Hornsby says that's when the same arguments that Casey's defense made Friday against death could ring true with the man who will ultimately decide. And we've done some digging into Judge Strickland's track record, and we've uncovered another murder case where it was up to Strickland to decide if the suspect received life or death. What he decided and why, all new at 6, Martha.